hello everyone welcome to this video in the last video i showed you how to register for uh, the google cloud and take advantage of the 300 dollars credit that they're offering uh, now you can use it for 90 days and play with the good google cloud environment in this video i wanted to show you how to install the google cloud sdk and uh, the installation is pretty simple so there is nothing magic or special about it I'm using a Mac, uh, Mac uh, M1 chip, silicon, and so I just wanted to make wanted to show you that it's still working even in the latest version of the Mac with the new architecture that they have developed. So pretty much uh, with the Cloud SDK, you can uh, run the command line tool. It just comes with the various different kind of command that you can use to manipulate your cloud environment. You can deploy your compute resource, storage resource a lot of tasks like administrative work that if you're familiar with uh, coming from a linux background especially or powershell background you definitely gonna love it so the the way to uh, get this installed in mac or any other system you just go to the sdk quick start i'm going to give you this link in my video so i'm using the mac as i said so what they're saying uh, you prefer version of Python installed, you should have 3.5 to 3.8 if you're using Python version 3 and Python 2, 2.7.9 or higher. So let's just go there and let's quickly see what kind of part Python I have installed. It's 3.8.5. So this is 3.8. So I should be good with this one. And over here, uh, you can download uh, three things. First, if you don't know the uh, what bit version of your Mac, it's most likely 64 bit. Uh, so, but you can still run this command just to just to check uh, the the bit size of your computer. So it's a 64 bit ar architecture. So we got this one. So the next thing you need to do either you can download this packaged with Python if you don't have the Python. Uh, since I have Python, the only thing I need to do is download this one. So I just click this one. It should download this as a tar file uh, to my downloads folder. Okay. And it's just standard. Then you just click on it and it should extract and uh, put it there in uh, over here in my downloads. Now, if you see that I already did this work yesterday, so I already had this. This is the one that I just installed now. And it created a folder like this uh, google cloud sdk over here so all you need to do in here you need to install the script and if you're coming from a linux background especially it's it will make a lot of sense usually all of these files if it's not like rpm package if you have to manually install you would typically run the install that sh command so you just copy this one in here what you can do I'm just going to stick to the google.cloud.sdk install.sh. I have already done that. So let's make sure that I am in the do downloads folder. So let's go there and then run the command. So if you do that, what is going to ask you, do you want to help improve the Google Cloud SDK? It's up to you. Uh, if you want to send the logs um, here, I'm just going to say no. Uh, then what is going to install or remove components at your current SDK, run these. To update the SDK installation to the latest version, run update, modify profile to update your path and enable cell command and you just want to continue, just say say yes. Okay, so all you need to do, or actually you can hit just enter because Y will be taken as the default. Okay, so just hit enter. Then you, you're going to ask, hey, where do you, where is the path to run an RC file to update or leave this blank? So just uh, hit enter again and that's pretty much about it so you have this uh, installed now so what the next thing that you need to do is uh, you have to initialize this cloud and to do that what you need to do you just take this command uh, the google cloud sdk bin g cloud in it uh, so if you come back over here uh, paste it there hit enter and that should so i have already reinitialized so here they are saying okay reinitialize the configuration or create a new configuration i'm just gonna do one uh, and then it's just reinitializing and this is the account that i have already used so i'm just gonna say one uh, for you it's gonna ask you 
to authenticate so at this time what you will do it will open up a, a browser and it will just authenticate to your google cloud and you will this shell will have authentication to your google cloud environment now for here uh, you need to have a project a project is like to organize all the resources within the google cloud so here I have uh, six projects. I think the free account, it will allow you to create up to 24 different projects. So I can use maybe the second one too. And it will set this project. Uh, your current project has been set to uh, Basu app. Okay, so this is how uh, you can set up and start using your Google Cloud uh, environment. One thing I want to I wanna see, so if I open up, see another window okay uh, okay let's let's get this done so here uh, we are back over here so one thing i want to do i want to check whether my g cloud environment variable is now available to me okay so it's not showing so what i'll do i'll close this one out and i'm gonna reopen uh, the window because the path sometimes once you set it you have to reopen the window to uh, before the path can work so click on it and what i'll do g cloud now see the g cloud what i did i just type just three letters here then hit tab so it picked up it knows i have this command so i can again write the g cloud init command so it, it's again going to initialize go one and again it's just reinitializing go to my environment and uh, go to so it's my uh, project has been set to uh, basu.app okay so that's how easy it is to come up and uh, set up your uh, google cloud in a mac environment uh, so what do you want to do what i'm going to recommend uh, google cloud command cheat sheet okay so this is what uh, i think you should pull up okay and try out some of the commands over here so here uh, getting started you have a uh, google in it that that we have we have already looked at once that's done you can look at the the version that's installed let's see what we have so if i do again google g cloud and then version and it's going to tell you the version that you are running right so uh, so here if you want to install some specific components or if you want to update something you can run these commands you can do the info if you want to get some help you can run any of these commands uh, to personalize of your own uh, you you have a whole bunch of commands over here to for the credential you can have another set of commands for example gcloud auth login it's going to authorize your google cloud access for the gcloud tool with google user credentials okay again projects you can add projects you can uh, add iam policy binding to a project and uh, virtual machine is really cool compute engine zone list so here uh, let's copy this command compute uh, google compute zone list so it's going to tell you what are the zones where you can deploy your google services so let's just run it from here and let's get the list so g cloud g cloud compute zones let's it's sometimes it may make may take a couple of minutes it, it's going to talk to the google cloud api and get the information back for you and uh, like over here this this command list all vm instances in a project uh, you have a uh, uh, g cloud on instance so if you have created a whole bunch of uh, google compute engine this is going to create a list and and bring it back to you so just play with it and uh, see that if there are some commands that might be really useful to you okay here in this this one uh, some command that just didn't work properly so but again so we have to uh, sometimes you get these errors and you have just to uh, you wait for a few minutes and then uh, retry it doesn't happen a lot but it could happen but uh, there we go so you know how to install uh, and uh, play with the google sdk again it's another way to work with the google cloud platform a lot of work you'll probably be doing from the google cloud console just like any other cloud providers but it's again another tool 
that you should have in your fingertips and it's going to help you a lot uh, quickly performing a lot of work manual work that you would otherwise do from the portal all right have fun and enjoy learning google cloud thank you